So um, it's sort of frowned upon for me to ride my bike on campus. And um, I don't think that's really fair because golf carts, <laughs> vans, <laughs> trucks that creep up behind you and weed on the back of your neck. Yeah, those are all okay. People don't really respect the bike. People don't want us on the sidewalks. We don't really want to be on the streets. So rather than give us half the sidewalk, they gave us 1 16th of the street. <laughs> and even then, it snows, and they're like, oh, what should we do with all this snow on the road? Mm, put it in the bike lane. <laughs> well, what about these giant construction signs or these greasy construction workers or trash cans? Put it in the bike lane. <laughs> what about the cars? Can they go in the bike lane? No, absolutely not, unless they want to. <laughs> Sometimes people say, I'm so happy I could sing, but that doesn't really make sense because I don't care how happy you are, you can't sing. <laughs> Sometimes also, it's just a little bit unreasonable to sing. Like I was at the airport um, a couple weekends ago getting ready to go home and I was pretty excited. I was so happy I could sing actually, but I didn't because I was at an airport and because the guy next to me smelled like wet paint. <laughs> that was somehow, oh, yet still wet. And I didn't want to open my mouth for fear I might inhale those toxic fumes and die and then miss my butt. So you see, you have to be reasonable when singing. <laughs> so, um, I hate being sick. Um, more specifically, I hate having a stuffy nose just because you can't eat cereal without sounding like a big fat man that just jogged from his truck to the entrance of a Krispy Kreme. Because they're like, <laughs> <laughs> you got milk dripping out the corner of your mouth, like not being able to breathe has suddenly made you brain dead. And you're walking around campus looking at all the healthy people, all bitter. Like, just look at the way he breathes, all smug. Like, he owns the air. It's for everyone, you jerk. I do wish people would be more happy. Um, I feel like lately I've been triggering people's pent up rage and pent up depression. Like I just say one thing and it sets them off. Why can't anybody just ever have pent up happiness? Or pent up extra money or free food? <laughs> Unload all that on me, no. I'm really worried that next somebody, um, I'm gonna trigger somebody's pent up psycho. Like I might just say one thing wrong, like oh I love your hair, I wish I had your hair. Oh, you want my hair? Here. Take it, I don't want it anymore. It looks better on you anyways. And it did, it was blonde. It gave me some highlights. So, uh, <laughs> this is one of those sad truths about life. Um, when an ugly guy, ugly guy flirts with you, um, he's automatically a creepy stalker. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the grocery store, and this guy came up to me while I was just picking up a bag of apples, and he was, um, you know, doing them individually, because he has to pick the best ones, and he's like, how do you know when fruit is good? And I was like, I don't know, get away from me, creepy stalker. <laughs> but then I felt kind of bad, because I was like, okay, if he had been hot, I probably would have played along, like, how do you know when fruit is good? Oh, you know. Same way you know a man is good. <laughs> Sweet, tender, a little bit of peach fuzz. <laughs> so, <laughs> the other day, um, I was typing in an address on my web browser and I misspelled it. And there was actually a website for the misspelled word. And that means people are making money off of my mistakes. But good for them. Because I can predict people's mistakes too, but that doesn't mean I know how to make money off of it. For example, I know that all of you are thinking I'm either Filipino or Mexican or Native American or something crazy like that. Now you're all wondering, right? <laughs> That's all the brown ones. She's so racially ambiguous. <laughs> Race is a funny thing at BYU, actually. I mean, they always announce that they have students from all 50 states and 110 countries, and people always clap for that. When really, when I walk around campus, the three main shades of skin color I see are white, pink, and freckled. 
But I clap too, I do. Just for a different reason, I clap because I think it is amazing that they found white people in 110 countries. 